Well, by now, everyone should have received the annual Ryan Christmas card and calendar for next year. I want to congratulate Georgia, Phoebe and Ayla on their wonderful award-winning designs. They deserve to be on the front of this card. We're very fortunate to have such talented boys and girls and I want to thank those who came second and third and the hundreds and hundreds of entries we had. So many talented students across Ryan. But this year we gave them an extra task. We distributed some big blank cards to all the primary schools in Ryan and asked the boys and girls to write a special message to our troops, to our men and women serving overseas and unable to be home with their families for Christmas. I was genuinely moved by the wonderful heartfelt messages from so many of our students. And not only did they have wonderful moving messages, they also had fabulous Christmas decorations so that the men and women can hang them up in their quarters overseas. Some of them made special individual cards. There were some fabulous ideas and innovation and of course lots of glitter and tinsel. And it was a privilege and honour for me to be able to send those overseas to the troops on behalf of the primary schools of Ryan. To my constituents in Ryan, have a happy, healthy and safe Christmas. And I do hope you get to spend it with your loved ones and your family. At the same time, we should spare a thought for those who can't be home. People like the Grister family with son Peter still in jail in Egypt with his Al Jazeera colleagues. So to all of you, have a wonderful Christmas and New Year and I look forward to working with the community in 2015 and delivering great outcomes for those of us in Ryan.